Hi, everybody. I'm Sonny Rivera, Senior Analytics Evangelist at ThoughtSpot and Snowflake Data Superhero. So I'm back with part four, which is the last in our series on Snow Park on ThoughtSpot. And today we'll be looking at loyalty classification and RFM analysis, and that's recency, frequency, and monetary analysis. We're going to use banking and transaction information to do a loyalty and classification analysis, and that'll include customer segmentation, looking at recency, frequency, and the monetary analysis. So the code is broken into the connection to Snowflake, selecting the right data, and doing a little bit of exploratory data analysis. We'll also then dig in identify some of the key metrics, and then we'll take a look at data prep, preparing and cleaning the data, and then we'll move into our classification using k-means and some other techniques. All of this code is over on CodeSpot, so head over to CodeSpot, download all the code, and it's got step-by-step -step instructions. Now, let's jump over to ThoughtSpot and see how this looks within ThoughtSpot. Let's dive into our scenario. You're a digital marketer at a fictional bank, Spot Bank, tasked with creating a loyalty and retention program for our most valuable customers. Setting up a live connection to Snowflake with ThoughtSpot is easy and just takes a few clicks. Then you'll have access to all of that rich data that came from your Snowpark machine learning. Welcome to our interactive live board, a dynamic tool for gaining insights into customer segmentation and demographic trends. Now, we've categorized our customers into groups like big spenders or active regulars, valued customers, and engaged explorers. We've even created a tile on our live board so viewers can easily reference what those are. Now, within the loyalty distribution, we are leveraging that Snowpark and Python code that we wrote earlier. That is leveraging clustering algorithms such as k-means to identify those four distinct customer profiles. Recall also that we were looking at the RFM analysis. That's the recency, frequency, and monetary uh, analysis. And with this, we're using transactional data residing within Snowflake where we can segment our customers into those distinct groups and see their value. We can quantify the loyalty of each one of those customers with their RFM values. The higher the value, the more valuable the customer. Let's navigate on over to our customer groups and we'll focus on big spenders. So we'll filter this live board by big spenders. So with this in mind, let's take a look at if we can enhance the relationship with these customers by offering exclusive access to new products and new services. Now let's see if we can create a targeted campaign for the big spenders segment over 65. We'll count customer IDs, age group. By focusing on retirement age customers, this offers us an excellent opportunity for upsells. We can drill down into the segment's preferences, obtaining detailed insights about what products they prefer without having predefined drill paths. So we'll take a look at age 65s. Let's drill down to the product types, to the account types that they like, and we can see savings, we can see checking, and least of all, credit cards. Now, let's switch to a tab tabular view here and see if we can get a list. We'll say customer name. Finally, we'll act on this data by exporting the list through ThoughtSpot Sync. We'll send this to HubSpot and get a private offer directly to these customers. That's Snow Park for ThoughtSpot, bridging the gap between data science and business outcomes. To learn more about AI-powered analytics for your Snowflake data cloud, visit thoughtspot.com slash snowflake. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this series.